Hello guys, how are you? Uh, today we are going to see uh, Java 8 features. So as you saw in the thumbnail, we'll be going to cover five minutes. But guys, you should excuse me if I take maybe seven minutes or eight minutes, okay? That should be okay. Okay, let's not waste our time. So let us see each one of the uh, features. The first feature is for each method in iter iter iterable interface. So what does this mean? So let us write a program. I have written a program called, I have written a cl class called Java 8 features demo. Inside that there is a method. So inside this main method, I am going to write a array list. Array list. So of type integer. So this is a list. This list I am creating. So this is my list. So I will add some values for it. So using a for loop, let me add 100 numbers. So here I will add list dot add. This guys, you know already how to add elements into the list. Just to show you, so this is the way we generally add the elements. Now, what is this? The first feature of it is providing is so generally how do we iterate the um, list so we have iterator iterator and then it iterator integer it equals to so list dot iterator so I will add while and then while inside while we'll have it dot has next. So here we'll be printing it dot next. This is the way earlier and before the uh, Java 8 we used to do. This is the element. So let us print this guys. So this should print me all 100 elements. So right click, run as Java application. So it is printing right till 0 to 99. So what is the feature which we got is we don't need to write all this while iterator, all the stuff you just do for each. And then here we can use the uh, method reference also. So system.out method reference print ln that's it guys see i'll run this so i'll comment this much i'll run so this should do the same job what it did it does earlier so see guys it is printing exactly same so this is the new feature the for each method which they have written so we can call that this is one way the other way is list dot for each. So I, and this is the calling of Lambda expressions. So here I am printing system dot as well as well. Here we can print as we if you want. Number colon I. So this is the way, other way of doing it. So both the lines should work for us. I am commenting this now. So both are the same, exact same output you should give us. Okay, this is the, this is the method reference we are um, using. This is, we are writing a Lambda expression calling, okay, manually. This is the direct method reference. What we, it does is it will print the numbers. So this is the uh, first feature of uh, Java 8. Then the second feature will not waste time. Let us go to the second feature. What is the second feature? So the second feature in interfaces. So earlier in before Java 8, there was no only interfaces allows the method declaration. So we cannot write the implementation in the methods. But in Java 8, they are supporting method implementation. There are two types of implementation. They are supporting default and static implementations. Okay, let us write. So I'm going to write so interface 
so demo int so i'm i'm giving this is the name demo interface so here uh, our, uh, earlier we used to have so only uh, methods without any um, implementation only declaration now in the interface we can have declaration as well as the implementation so let us write so there are two types of uh, methods allowed default wide display is the method so this in this i am just printing guys system dot out dot print line so this is the default right so next this this if it is not giving any error earlier we used to get the error right i will show you how to call this also so other way is so other way is static methods static void task so here i'll put a sop st i will do by that i don't need to write it's a statement so now guys let's see let me access the uh, the static method static methods we don't need to create an object so this is the Starting method calling. This is the starting method calling. I have called. It should print me demo in front tasks. So let's run this. So I'll comment the other above lines. So this is the static method of interface. See it is calling. So now we have to see how to call the display default method. Before that, the other feature is lambda expressions. Lambda expressions. So in java 8 lambda expressions are allowed so we can write one method called wide add so this is abstract method so we will not do anything so how do if you wanted to do it in how if you wanted to use it in java 7 and all how do you write we'll write a implementation class so like uh, demo inf implementation and then provide the implementation there now in java 8 it, it made very simplified they made it very simplified so what I will do, I will create a object here only. Demo is equals to, so, so we can add parameters also guys. We will have parameters, two parameters, in i comma j, okay? So here, so uh, i comma j or a comma b I'm giving. So here you can specify the data type, this optional. So even if you specify also no issues. And here I'm providing the implementation, guys. So what I'll do, I'll just, what I have done here, so let us put a return type, integer. So what we will do here is a return A plus B. And then here we should put semicolon, guys. This is the way, this is the implementation we are providing, guys. This is the implementation we are providing for a, for a, for a functional interface or a lambda expression. This is the lambda expression. This is the lambda expression in, in Java 8 case. So earlier what we used to do, this implementation, we have to write a class, implement the demo INF and then put it there. Now at the time of calling only we can put it. Now let us call this demo dot, demo dot add 10 comma 20. So it will return me an integer so that integer i'll put into int sum so this is my sum so i am going to put a sop total is total is sum right let us run this and show you the output okay this is the total 30 so it worked well now how to call the default methods this is the default method right so we have created already demo object demo dot default or display display is the default method name okay this i have kept the name as display so it should print me default at the end okay let's run this this is the default so this is the lambda expression guys so now the next important feature is java streams so java streams again related to our collections 
so now here there are two types two types of java streams parallel streams and uh, the sequential streams so what i'll do list dot parallel stream so parallel stream i'll get so here i'll put stream as a variable name this is a variable name so i'm going to create a local variable so now what i'll do so again stream dot filter we can do guys there are so many methods inside this so let us do a filter filter i want i want only the greater than 90 so greater than 90 number i want so what i can do is int this greater than i greater than 90 so this is the uh, step guys so filter one minute so this is the step so this will return me again this is a subset of filter so what i will do i will put sub is equals to and then declare this so it say so we can print it again now sub dot for each and then system system dot out dot so i will use the method reference print len print ln that's all guys so it should print me so print ln it should print me the greater than all the greater than 90 whatever the numbers are there it should print me see here 91 19 until 99 right you're getting it so this is the feature the same way so we'll have a sequential uh, streams there will be so many operations the difference between is one is parallel other one is sequential so uh, the same way we have uh, sequential stream so i will not be covering i'll make i'll make a separate video for each section for in detail uh, coverage so this is the third so they have improved java time api they have improved collection api and they have improved the co concurrency api guys these are very less uses time api we use generally so if a bit due to the time constraint i'm not covering it you can watch my videos so i have a, a youtube channel happy tech trainings so you, you all these videos i will be uploading please do watch share it and subscribe to my channel thank you